We'll guide you through how to get backup codes for Roblox two-factor authentication. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So all you need to do is come to the Roblox website and go to the top right and click on the gear or cork icon and click on settings. Then go over to the left and you need to go and click on security. Now you need to scroll down in the two-step verification section and we need to go and set up this. And once you have got two-step verification set up, you then get backup codes. So what I'm gonna do is go and set up the Authenticator app. So I'm gonna come over to the right and go and switch it on. As you can see, we need to use one of these suggested apps like Google Authenticator, Mike's Authenticator, or this one here. You can then go and switch it on. And what you need to do is enter the six digit code sent to your registered email. After you've entered that code, you'll get taken to the Authenticator setup. Now, what you need to do is go and open up an Authenticator app. So I'm using Google Authenticator. And I can go to the bottom right and click on the plus button and click on scan a QR code. If you don't want to use the QR code, you can always go and do the manual entry by clicking there. But I'm gonna go and scan the QR code like so, which I've now done. And now all we need to do is go and enter the code which we're now getting in this box here. So let me type it in. After you've typed it in, go and click on verify and it'll go and take a moment. And just like that, we're now given our backup codes. And now what we can do is go and save them. So I'm gonna go and save them now. After you've done that, select, I save my backup codes and you can go and click on close. And that's it. You can scroll down here as well. And if you want to go and generate new backup codes, go over to the right, click on generate and you can generate new ones. But the previous 10 backup codes will become invalid when the new ones are generated. So make sure sure if you want to do that. But that's it. If you guys found this useful and you wanna see more guides like this, then please leave a like.